today I went on a jolly to another ROC bike bunker and what I found in there was a little bit of a shock to say the least uh, and a surprise just carry on watching the video and you'll understand okay oh this is one of the best covered um, ROC bunkers I've ever found mind you I've only ever found two There you go, and I believe that there might be the counterbalance weight, but I might be wrong. It looks like it. Because where the hinge was, I don't know whether I said it on the video, there was a counterbalance in there. Uh, I don't know what this is. It's got to be part of the air race at the ROC bunker. Got to have been part of it. Probably where they stored stuff, maybe. But well, I'm not sure. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. This is the only one of these I've found at a bunker, though, so this is something different. There wasn't one at the the one I did uh, near Meriden. Oh. Painted, definitely painted military green look. I say, if anybody knows what that is, is it the counterbalance weight? I don't know, I thought there was solid metal, but might have been solid metal on the on the moderner ones, not so much the older ones. Right, this is in a looks like a lot poorer condition than uh, the last one I went to. Oh and it looks full of rubbish. I don't think there'll even be a chemical toilet in here, but we'll have a look. This is probably one of the early decommissioned one as well. This is a poor example of one. Looks like somebody actually lived in here for a while. Unless it's kids making it into a tent. That would have been where the chemical toilet would have been. It's not there, there's not even a door. This is in very poor condition. And it's definitely fire damaged. There you go, definitely proof there's been fly tipping in here. Some of these cases look. Still full of belongings. Oh, well, I know what that is. Can you see that? That goes to that there. Oh, let's see if I can show you. That goes onto that there. It's where the meters would have been. I think somebody's definitely been living in here. And I think that's an original chair.
and you can see the fire bird primary fire damage on it. Xbox games, what the hell? Lots of Xbox games. I think some dude's actually been living in here. Anyway, I'm using my hands to move stuff. Back. I don't know how long that's been there. And definitely somebody's been living here. That would account for why the chairs are outside. I think that bucket there is original as well. custodial records and everything. I ain't bothered about showing you the details because you know, people shouldn't be dumping shit in these so it's their problem. Oh there's a nice thing, look at that, he's a big lad. crawling around there. Yeah, there's definitely... Yes, I think definitely somebody's been living in here. I think mean, I'll go and see it, but I don't know how long ago. I don't want to go too much in the rubbish in case I find needles. Oh, I need to say thank you to Michelle as well. For giving me the pin to this location. And also to Tyler, my number one fan. I have a number one fan, yeah. Cool. I definitely think somebody's been living in here. this guy was. He was in a lot of shit. Lots of debt collecting stuff all around the place. There's a port there. That might make me think he was living in here. I 
as I ain't bothered about showing the information because it shouldn't be allowed in any case. People shouldn't be allowed to dump stuff in these places. Letter. I don't think somebody's been, I do think somebody's been squatting in here. 5th of July 2010. showing the date and everything on their letters but hey it's 2010 so it's been a long while ago I think that's part of the original bucket there as well but I'm not sure Still interesting. I was like, was here within a lot of debt. I think it's what they call, I think it's a master RO, master control bunker. And there's actually an aerial on the side. It's definitely been fire damaged. But I think definitely as well, somebody's been living in here. definitely building up a profile it was a man that owned his own business I think and he got himself into deep trouble ended up losing his arm losing his arm losing his home and moving into here that's what I think Not much original stuff in here. I think that's an original bucket. I think that's an original chair. Sorry if you don't like my photos, but I need to take some photos for Insta. That there is or was the chemical toilet.
there is. The more I look at this, the more I think somebody lived in here. I mean, cases, probably lost his own and everything. some sort of weird plan. Why, what's going on in here then, I wonder? Interesting. I'm sure somebody was actually squatting in here. The thing is, all these letters I'm finding seem to be for, to the same person. Checking a few Instagrams. Thank you. 
because only, there's only a little bit of original stuff left in there, unfortunately. It's an original chair. See this exit hole here, talking to the camera by the way, that is where the bilge pump was. Obviously you can see there's no bilge pump here anymore. But underneath all them rocks at the bottom, there should be a sump. And you used to have to hand pump all the water out of it. Well, what can I say? This is the end of my video for now. Unfortunately, it was, it's was it been a small explore, but still it was well worth it. I'll turn my bed light on and find the button. Okay, perhaps I won't. Perhaps I'll just turn it down. So, there you go. But it apparently looks like somebody was squatting in there. There's lots of documents, lots of debts. And I hope you enjoy it. And I am definitely too old for this flocky. Oh. Oh. Thanks for watching.